Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and this is Sabs, aka Sustainable Sabs. We're here at Chelsea Market because I came here last month and I was just floored with all the amazing vegan options. So I'm starting a Chelsea Market playlist. Today is the first slash second video that I'm shooting here. And because I like walked around here a little bit earlier, I know two places I really want to try out. The first is very fresh noodles, and the second, I totally don't know the name, but it's like some sort of crap place. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get to eating and reviewing and just exploring and I hope you guys enjoy. They have like mock duck noodles. Literally. What are duck noodles? No, 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 mock duck noodles. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're here at Very Fresh Noodles just because my friend Crystal has recommended this place to me for two years straight and I just haven't had the time to come down. Um, and we're gonna get the mock duck noodles. I think that's what it is. I just wanna look at the menu real quick. There we go, spicy vegan noodles with mock duck. That's what we're getting, bok choy and shiitake mushroom. Let's do it. Do you want dry or soup? Dry, okay. okay. Guys, you don't even know, I've literally been excited to eat at this place for years and I love me some noodles. Can I please have the spicy vegan noodles with mock duck? Dry, please. Wow, she literally just said that it would be one minute. That is super fast. All right, here they are. They look super good, they smell super good, and the mock duck is made out of seitan. Uh, that's what the chef literally just told me, so looking forward to it. Okay, so we have the noodles over here. They smell like good, but also interesting. I. I don't know what this exact smell is. Like, what is that smell? It's almost like a meaty, even though I know it's like vegan meat, but it smells like, yeah. I don't know, kind of like this a is, hearty flavor. This is what the meat looks like. Come on, there you go. I guess we'll try this first. Oh, it's softer than I thought it would be. Pretty oh, soft. Yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, These noodles are way too long. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. This is a single noodle. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is a single noodle. How do you eat this? I mean, if I was eating it alone, I would like bite off pieces, but then I'm there gonna, would be I feel pieces like I have in to, there. I feel like I have to bite off a piece of it. It's also chewier than I thought it would be. Like, that is so good. The noodles are chewier than I thought it would be, and then the meat is softer than I thought it would be. It almost feels like a mixture between noodles and like mochi noodles. Like yeah. they have a little bit of that chew to them. I feel like I'm eating like festival food, like noodles on a stick. Perfect. <laughs> it's fruit by the foot, but noodle. Nude by the foot. Sounds kinky. Oh my god. Remember that guy I went on a date with? Was he a foot guy? No. I didn't see him again. <laughs> These noodles are very good. They're very good. They're Sorry. also like, I forgot we're supposed to talk about the food. I know, food. I was just gonna say, <laughs> we should probably talk about the food. I, they're like a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. like, it's like a light burn. Yeah, someone, very, very light. Someone told me that, they, oh my god, they're so spicy, but they're still pretty good. No. They are not, that, they're not spicy. that spicy. Three out of 10. The bok choy is not overcooked. It's like good. It has like a little bit of the bite to it still. It's not spicy, so it detracts from the flavor. I hate when people make spicy things. They're just like, wow, it's so spicy. I can handle spice. But you're like, yeah, but you can't taste anything anymore. Yeah. So like, what are you trying to prove? What do you think? I have not much to say because I've been working on this one noodle for the past five minutes and 54 <laughs> seconds. But now I can try the vegetables. Oh yeah, the bok choy is really good. It's not like... I hate when bok choy is like so chewy that you're chewing it yeah. for like five hours. Yeah. No. And then like you give good. up and you swallow it partially whole. I know. And then you're like, and then like for half a second, you're like, am I gonna die today? Am I gonna choke? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Roberto refuses to eat bok choy for that exact reason? I don't Ever. blame him. Okay. So noodles are done. I forgot to say that they were like thirteen dollars and change, which is like not the cheapest, but also again we're in Chelsea Market, so it's like an it's average for like a lunch, you know. And it would be like filling as a lunch for one person. Um, the bottom is actually super greasy. So they, I guess they put like chili oil or something. Yeah. Has like like Sichuan oil like vibes, right? Even like the the kind of burning, it's like it's the it's a Sichuan spice type of burning, you know what I mean? Like where your face, your tongue feels a little bit numb, but still pretty good. I would give them a nine. Or do you give it a nine? A nine? Yeah, we'll give it a nine. Next up, we're gonna check out, I, I literally just Bar said- Bar Suzette. Wow, good job. Bar Suzette, apparently they have vegan crepes. Crepes, crepes. Crepe, but either one. Crepe is closer. <laughs> 
anyway, they have vegan ones, sweet and savory. So we're gonna get a sweet and a savory one and then we'll report back with how it is. So let's go. Okay, so we are trying to find Bar Suzette. We know it's this way, but we're not quite sure where. Oh, now I see it. It's right next to Beyond Sushi. Also, it's like so crowded in here. It's really bad. There we go. Oh, cool. Yeah, we get to see the whole process being made too. There are so many options. Wait, I don't know if you guys can see. All right, I guess pause to read, but there are an incredible amount of options. Looks like they're using BioLife cheese. By the way, we got a BLT and a chocolate and banana. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. They're doing shiitake mushroom bacon, some veggies. With something else mixed in, like mustard maybe? I don't know. Dark chocolate. Okay, these weren't cheap, but they're also like not skimping on anything. This looks so good. And look at those chocolate chips melt. Okay, so. We got BLT, which I'm excited for, and we got chocolate banana, which I'm excited for. Yeah, <laughs> so we're just gonna try each of those separately. No, Rebecca, you're gonna try them together. Who doesn't love a bacon, lettuce, and tomato chocolate banana crepe? This BLT is very filled. Like, um, let's just say these weren't cheap. They were like, like this one was like $16, and that one was like 12 or something like that. So, a eh, little, little splurgy, you know what I mean? But they at least don't skimp on the fillings yeah. at all. It's not like as beautiful, yeah. but you can kind of see. They use, okay, there's like this certain allergy friendly um, chocolate chips. I forgot what they're called. I've used them a bunch of times. Something life? Enjoy life. What is it? Good luck? No. I can literally I imagine the bag in my head and I, I don't still remember. don't remember which it is. Enjoy life. I don't remember. Anyway, so they're definitely vegan because I recognize the super weird shape of the chocolate chips. This is really good. Oh my god. Wait. This, this is, is so really good. good. <laughs> I'm gonna try yes. just the crepe. I'll do that too. Tastes like a basic crepe. Tastes like an unsweetened light pancake. I will say it tastes a little bit, a little bit savory. Mm -hmm. Like it has like a little bit of a saltiness to it, but um, it's definitely balanced out with like all the toppings. I would get toppings. this. I would get this. Yeah. You want to switch? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yo! Right? You picked the right one. <laughs> There were so many options. There were a lot of options. They weren't like, okay, well, there's like two vegan ones and two savory, sweet ones. Also, they were very heavy on the cheese, which I love. Oh, yeah. They did not skimp on that cheese. And mm. it looks like there's not a lot of chocolate in this, but it, it's a very dark, like, intense chocolate, Rich so you chocolate. wouldn't want any more. Yo, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Is the crepe slightly sour? That's what I was saying about that. This one. Yeah, that's my only. No. It's this one, too. No, I'm saying like it's more evident with this one because, oh, this because is it's a like sweet a sweet thing. Yeah. yeah. The crepe it is almost slightly has, sour. Like, you know what? Almost has a flavor of like injera. No, I mean, oh yeah, that too. Yeah, I was it's like say it's almost like vegan cheese. Actually, it does. It does remind me of injera. Injera. It's, you know how it's like slightly sour? Like it's like it's like I don't think they use like a fermented dough for this, but it has that that you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, it's just slightly lemony, just a tiny, tiny bit. Remember when I was like, I'm not me, like two bites of this. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. We're gonna finish them and we'll get back to you. All right, so uh, I would give the crepes a big thumbs up. They're pretty good. I like, I don't know. I was gonna say I like the savory one better, but I think I like them both the same. I like them both, they're different. They're really different. But yeah. both really good. Yeah, they're both really good. Um, I would say nine out of 10 as well. It would get a 10 if the crepe was not like sweet, uh, sour. Um, so yeah, that is all we have. Let us know what else is good to eat in Chelsea. I already plan on coming back for like the tahini ice cream at Seed and Mill, but other than that, I don't know what is good over here. So if you're here very often, let us know what we should check out or I should check out. Maybe you can come back and check out more stuff. Um, but yeah, like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. 
<laughs> and I'll put Sabs's YouTube and Instagram down below so you can check her out. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. It's Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Emily Blaine, Juanita, Emily B, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Clarissa, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Janine, and Nicole. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then please just stick around and watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. Catch you guys next video!